It's a writing challenge. Today, on the right focus, cocoons. Checking in with our project stage, I'm at rough shape. 1,430 words today. That's 4,994 for the week in three days, not seven. That 1,400 plus words is close to six pages in my handwriting. Remember, I handwrite the rough shape. When I transfer to the keyboard, I call that drafting. The first of the story is rarely difficult. The difficult part is when I reach around 40%. So far, my trouble has just been distractions. I had trouble starting today. The jot list wasn't the problem. The starting sentences were, they didn't flow. I backed out, rewrote them, then decided to let the story steep for a while. I did a lot of little chores, some related to life, some related to writing. Life stepped in and distracted me for most of the afternoon. Yet because I started the dating and reworking my jot list, the muse twirled things around while I dealt with little chores that needed to be done and would have to be either today or tomorrow. Tomorrow. Better to do them today. When I finally broke free of life and sat down at my desk, the time read 4.30. I started a new jot list, then opened up a notebook, and the sentences flowed out like the swiftly running creek the characters are camping beside. I took a break for supper, then came back and finished up. Some days, we writers wake up with the starting sentences in our heads. We can't wait to sit down and write. On other days, we have an idea of our start, but not the specific sentences. Those come, however, as soon as we are ready for the first ready for the first words. Other days, like today, we need a bit more contemplation. One key to success, the key I am currently using, and methods do evolve and transform, remember, is the daily word count. It's a reasonable word count. When the blue sky and warm weather is calling, something has to draw us back to writing. I did contemplate sitting on my deck and writing, but the pollen is turning the table and chair and my car and the pavement the crayon color of green-yellow. You've seen that color, right? In the box, it's this pretty light green of rich hue. When you start coloring with it, it's this pale yellow with a hint of green. You can hardly see it. I just looked at the page of crayon colors. That green-yellow is no longer classified by that name. The powers at Crayola are calling it inchworm now. I wonder if the inchworm crayon has the same transformative value as the original green yellow. I wonder if the inchworm color is like the inchworm itself. Writers can be inchworms. Writers are writing even when they're not writing. That's lesson 33. Our ideas are inching along just like the inchworm, waiting for the cocoon, waiting for the transformation to be complete. Then the words will emerge, beautiful as a butterfly. To start my writing session today, at 4.30, I read a quote by Octavia. All that you touch, you change. All that you change, changes you. I closed with William Zessner. If writing seems hard, it's because it is hard. It's one of the hardest things that people do. Thanks for listening to The Right Focus, a podcast for writers at all levels, hosted by M.A. Lee, with assistance from Remy Black and Edie Runes, all from Writers, Inc. Books. Our focus is productivity, process, craft, and tools. Show notes for this and other episodes can be found on therightfocus.blogspot.com. Write to us at winkbooks at aol.com. Our podcast episodes are running short this month, but usually they last as long as it takes to fix a quick dinner, drive a short commute, or take a brisk walk. Daily in April, we're bookcasting. Write a book in a month by Remy Black, too, in the trilogy Inspiration for Writers, copyright 2020. Take lessons from today's episode and write on. It's a writing challenge. Today, on the right focus, cocoons. Checking in with our project stage, I'm at rough shape. 1,430 words today. That's 4,994 for the week in three days, not seven. That 1,400 plus words is close to six pages in my handwriting. Remember, I handwrite the rough shape. When I transfer to the keyboard, I call that drafting. The first of the story is rarely difficult. The difficult part is when I reach around 40%. So far, my trouble has just been distractions. I had